Hi everyone, it's May 14th, possibly the 15th, 2012, and I'm near Olympus, Turkey, on the coast, and I thought I would give you a walking video as uh, the beach is a little bit too up and down even for me to shoot a video. And this is just a row of pensions that are less touristic than where I'm staying. And you can see a few hand handicraft stores along the way. And each time a person passes or a car passes, I'll, I'll point the camera down because there is a certain degree of discretion along this road, I can feel. There are so many facets and facts I have been collecting over the last few weeks. And I'm trying to dramatically cut down the number of videos I make. And so I think that the ones that you will see will be a little bit more mixed up just because I don't want to inundate everyone with too much. So I want to first briefly talk about what I found out from recruiters or a recruiter working in London. And bear in mind that what goes on the CV or resume is different in each country. But uh, she had some interesting things to say. Um, basically, the labor market is quite hopeless in a lot of ways. And she said that that Mm, kind of coming from a different point than what I say. Five years ago, in the recruiting business in London, she was working from... Here's some chickens. Working from about 8.30 a.m. to 7.30 at night. And it was just a huge headhunting onslaught. But when the crash happened, and in the subsequent years, it has slowed her workflow to a more humane level for her. But things were starting to pick up again this year, but the British newspapers, like the American ones, keep using the word recession or double dip, uh, things like that. And then uh, uh, companies that do have a shortage of labor suddenly panic and then back out of looking for someone. And so that, that's really stymied the, the recovery, it, at least in that market. And as most of us know, our talents are becoming so similar to each other and she said really you just have to it's almost as much about luck and don't try to to apply for something that is just totally out of your element she said stick with what you know but I have another friend from London who said that she very often applies for positions she's not qualified for and gets it anyway. So uh, I, I think it has a lot to do with the charisma and persistence. On another front, I have a new friend from Spain and I... I mention her a lot because a lot of 
my perspective in the last year has been influenced by a slow motion cute cat faith and she was uh, not purposely attacked at first by another youtuber but it, it developed into that all these people came out of the the woodwork and I just